hi everyone Victor here again and in today's lesson we will continue with the topic controlling pod scheduling behavior and we will be looking at taint and tolerations so what is taint and tolerations let me start with what taint is first from the word taint which means contaminate or pollute something and of course when something is contaminated or polluted you won't want to have anything to do with that thing so when you taint a node in kubernetes it means that pods will be repelled away from that node so this simply means that when a node is tainted then pods will not be able to run on that node you taint a node to push pods away from that node so taint is the opposite of node affinity. We learned what node affinity is in one of our previous chapters. We learned that node affinity is a property of pods that attract them to a set of nodes. So the next question is, what is toleration? From the word toleration, which means allow or permit, similarly, Toleration in Kubernetes or OpenShift means permit or tolerate only this set of pods to run on a tainted node. Hence, the pods that are tolerated will be able to run on a tainted node. So, taints are applied to nodes while tolerations are applied to pods. And that's the reason most master nodes are always tainted so that pods will not be scheduled on them except stated otherwise every taint has a key value and effect and there are different types of taint effects which are the no schedule prefer no schedule and no execute so what is the no schedule taint effect before we define the no schedule taint effect let's taint a node so that you can flow along. To taint an OpenShift node, you can simply use the command OCADM taint followed by the name of the node. So let's even get the number of nodes that we have in this cluster so I can see OC get nodes. So you can see that we have just one node in this cluster and this is the name of the node. Don't forget that we are using a single node cluster, which is the CRC. And here, this is the name of the node, and it's just one node. So let's do something before we even taint this node. Let's verify if we have pods running on this node. So currently, we have just one pod running on this node. Of course, if I do the wide option, you can see that this pod is running on this single cluster node. So for me to taint this node, I can use the command OCADM taint followed by the name of the node. So I can just copy and paste this, then followed by the key, which is environment, followed by the value, which is production, then followed by the taint effect, which is no shadow. Oops, so we should have OCADM taint node here. So you can see that the node has been tainted. And for you to confirm tainted nodes in the cluster, you, you can use the command OC describe, OC describe nodes, I can grab for the word taint so you can see that this node has been tainted with the key with this key value and taint effect so the next thing we're going to we're going to do is to try and create a pod so let's use this um yammer manifest file if i say deployment we yeah, deployment deployment to the yaml Oops. Um, 
deployment to the YAML. That's the name of the file. So if you look at this file, it's just a simple YAML manifest file, which we have kind deployment and the name of the deployment, and we have the container and the image. So I can create this pod. I can create this pod. So I can just say, OC create file deployment to the YAML. Okay, I have some warning here with valid for security, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is just um, a security context warning. I can see that the deployment has been created. So if I do OC get pods, you can see that this pod is in the pending status. And that's because the pod we're trying to create this node on, don't forget, we just have just one node here. And the pod that we're trying to create this node on is already tainted. And tainted nodes will not allow pods run on them except you specify tolerations on the node, right? So if I say wide, you can see that this node, this pod, the scheduler is trying to schedule this pod, right? And but just because you have one node in a cluster, you can't even schedule the pod on any node. So what we need to do right now is to add toleration to this pod. And to do that, I can just, you know, do that in the YAML manifest file here. And under containers, under the spec section, of course, and after containers, I can just say tolerations. And I can say the key is environment, the value is production, and the taint effect is no shadow. And the operator, of course. So we usually have operator, we have different types of operator. You have equal, exist, and other types of operator. But when I say equal, I mean that whatever value I have defined should be equal, should just be the same thing. So I'm going to be using the um, operator equal. So now I can save this file. And let me just say um, OC apply again. All right, I have some warning, blah, blah, blah. Same as the security context. And you can see that this deployment has been configured. So if I do also get pods, so you can now see that the pod is running. And that's because tolerations of, of the taint has been added to this pod so that it can be able to run on the node. So now let's define this taint effect. What is this no schedule taint effect? So what is the no schedule taint effect? If a node or a particular set of nodes have an already running pods on them and the nodes are tainted with the no schedule effect, the pods in the node will keep running. Nothing would happen to the pods nothing will happen to the existing pods, they will be fine. However, when a new pod is created and not tolerated to run on the tainted node, the pods will not be scheduled on the node and will remain in pending state, just like we saw in the example. This pod will only run on worker node 2 if tolerations for the tenth value of worker node 2 is added to the pod specification as this. Moving forward, what is the preferred node schedule tenth effect? Consider this node with the following tenth effect. 
when a new pod is created such as this are not tolerated to run on a tainted node though the scheduler will try to avoid scheduling the pod on a tainted node however the pod can still be scheduled on the node with prefer no schedule effect and that's why this taint effect is also called soft taint in this case the pod will or can be scheduled on worker node 3 and worker node 4 because worker node 3 is soft tainted and worker node 4 has no taint at all more so the already running existing pods on the node that has a soft taint will remain and keep running nothing will happen to them and finally what is the no execute taint effect when you taint a node with the no execute taint effect the existing ports running on the node will be evicted only the ports that have the toleration for the no execute taint effect will be scheduled on the nodes consider these nodes with the following taint effect so only ports with this toleration will be scheduled on the nodes more so this parameter um, toleration seconds means that the ports will be evicted out of the nodes after 30 seconds toleration section toleration seconds parameter is optional so to untaint a node an open shift node you can use the command OCADM. So let's let me look for this OCADM change node. So just the same way you run the command to taint a node, at the end of this command you can put dash. When you press enter, this node is going to be untainted. You can also decide to put your dash at the beginning of the key. If you do this also the node will be untainted and you can also do this as well oops i claimed it already so let me just see what's it get notes so you can also do this you can edit the node parameter so you can say oc edit node then followed by the name of the node and if i come to tolerations let me just look tolerations um, we look for um, we have environment production all right um, taint oops <laughs> I should look for the word taint sorry about that I was yeah so anyway with anyways we're there already you know I was looking for tolerations. I should be looking for tolerations in the in the pod Yammer manifest file, not on the node. So here I can just you know I can edit this. I can delete this. I can just delete this. Delete this. Delete this. And I can save. So you can see that. The node has been edited and if i do also describe node um, i can see grep tint so you can see that i don't have any tainted node and also i can just put the name of the to satisfy my conscience you know i can also put the name of the node just paste it here so you can see that we don't have tainted nodes here so this is how you're going to untaint a node in openshift thank you for watching and please subscribe like share and comment when you do this you encourage us to do more and bye for now